A lot of golfers, um, adult learners, I guess we've been describing them as, who, who talk about uh, wanting to have that lag, wanting to yeah. have that pressure and feeling that it's, the, it's this elusive thing. Right. And really it's to do with how you're located yeah, where you are. and where your swing is, yeah. where, where the ball and your swing is relative to yeah. you. And it's, it's not something that you have to create. No. Everything you do to create it in your movements takes well, you further away from it. There's a great point in talking about, okay, somebody like Cameron Beckman, I've mentioned him earlier. He hits the ball. When he hits the ball, it's probably as loud as anything I've ever heard. When I, I, it's as, certainly as loud as Trevino was when I heard him hit the ball. Um, it's as loud as anybody I've ever heard. And he doesn't carry huge angles into here, but he does hit the ball all the way on the side of him. And I generate a lot of lag here, what people see as lag, but if I'm not in the right place, that's, most of that's going to dissipate by the time I hit the ball. But if I'm in the right place, all of that can get put into play and I can really pressure the ball and hit it very nicely. So it's where I am that gives me the ability to put it on the ball it's my motion that gives me the ability to, to generate that much. Hmm. So there's a difference, and I'd say that it doesn't matter how much you appear to generate to uh, a video camera halfway down, how much you put on the ball is really down to where you are. Yeah. And that means you need to be where you can hit it on the side of you. A lot of guys can give up, can afford to give up some speed in order to pick up some some pressure yeah. and some loudness, as you, as well, you described it. I mean, yourself exactly. included in, in that. I mean, we, we saw that, didn't we, with the... With the slower, gen yeah. yeah. When I started to demonstrate slower swings that's still on the yeah. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, look, I, I'd be happy to give up. I'd be happy to give up five miles an hour right now uh, to know that I could hit it with the same amount of energy every time like a Trevino. Yeah. You know, I don't have that because I don't, I don't do a good a job as uh, getting myself where I need to be as him. He's a great player. Um, I was never a great player. I think that's a fantastic point that applies to a huge number of golfers. You know, people, you know, they go out and buy a driver and they buy it 46 inches long and, you know, all the advertising talks about speed, speed's the key to distance mm -hmm. and everything. And, you know, that, yeah, they are going to get more club head speed, but they're just not going to get any pressure. Right. And they're not going to be able to control where the ball's going because they haven't got that pressure. Yeah. Well, it's back, yeah, it's back down. When you and I are coming at this from different angles, you're coming from the club fitting uh, perspective but we share the same belief and I don't use a 46 inch driver because when I use a 46 inch driver going back to everything makes the ball go where it, when I use a 46 inch driver I tend to hit it like this mm -hmm. I don't want to hit it like this because that gives me bad trajectory control yeah I want to be stable and I want to hit it on the side of me so I use a 44 inch driver because that's a good length for me to be able to do what I want yeah it's just you never hear people talking about that that pressure no. The, the, and you, you can absolutely see it. I mean, if you, if you go and watch a tour event, you can stand on the range and there's that distinctive noise yeah. of the ball striking that you don't hear at many golf courses yeah. you know, on yeah, many days. Yeah. You know? no. But there is that, that sort yeah. of dead thud yeah. that, that all of these guys have. And, yeah. and it's, it's just something that's, I think, not really understood in, mm. the, in the wider scheme of things. No, that's right. right. I, mean, I think that's, and Lee Trevino is a perfect example. He did not swing the club fast. He didn't have great velocity, but he had decent velocity, but he had great smash, as I'd call it. He had really smashed the ball and put all the energy on the ball. So he wasn't waving at it. You know, it was all going in one spot. And uh, there's a picture in Ben Hogan's book, Five Lessons, actually, I've got it in my bag right there, where, you know, it's like this electricity coming out of his body and it's, it goes down the shaft and you see the spark right here. I mean, he would have sensed that it's all going in one spot. Mm. So it's not so much, it's great to have velocity. You get Rory McIlroy's got both. 